Hello, and welcome to a special April Fool's episode of From Start to Finish, the Nick Speaks podcast. My name is Lucas Grassberger. I'm the merchandise managing manager here. Uh, and I am Kelsey. Um, I'm usually the one behind the camera. Yeah. So this is uh, a little different. Very for odd for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so. Um, but yeah, we thought it would be fun because this comes out on April 1st to talk about all of the pranks that happen in the office because we have quite a few a lot um, of pranksters, pranksters yeah. um, and a lot of ongoing pranks. Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hi Becca. Uh, yeah, we like to have a, a lot of fun here without interrupting work, of course. Right. But um, a lot of the folks in the office and in production like to place pranks on each other to mm -hmm. Keep things light and fun. Yeah. So we'll have um, a handful of people in and out here talking about different stories. Um, there's a lot of, I mean, there's really not that many of us in the office at all anyway. No. I think most of us are involved in pranks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. There's uh, just a, yeah. A, a number of different uh, incidents and stories that we're going to talk about and yep. uh, share with all of you. Yeah. So. Buckle up. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear that you, Alan, are the prank master I in am the production. Prank master. I don't know that anyone else is doing pranks other than in retaliation to, to my pranks. Yeah. yeah. That's, okay. That's always how it starts. So I'm, I started off pretty simple because it was a new new workplace, so I had to like see where gauge where yeah. everybody else is these are little plastic spiders so i started hiding these like, oh yeah i've in seen the, those yeah, oh yeah you've seen them about. oh speaking of pranks somebody did hide the was there's it you a, there's a cricket in what here. did you hide it in here because uh, nathan doesn't know who hid it in here the forethought <laughs> to get ready to do something like that i mean i totally would have done something like well, that I but guess... not that I, I actually i actually did something far <laughs> worse for this interview i uh since you told me what room it was going to be in, and you gave me a couple of days of preparation, I set something up for you guys. Oh, great. Yeah. In great. here? Yeah. Wow. Was it not the chirper? No. So we've got spiders, crickets, and possibly something else. Yeah. Okay, well, now I'm scared. So. You should great. be. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Amazing. I started hiding spiders. I would put them in the toilet paper rolls and, you know, in the production line yeah. so people would find them and... Then I started attaching them to people's tools and stuff and googly eyes, stickers, that kind of thing. Um, then I stepped it up a little bit. I bought a prosthetic eye. Wow. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, you were telling me about that. It's Oh, that's gross. Oh, okay. it's super gross, yeah. Wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so point proven. I really wish you were pressing that earlier when Nathan was in here on a call. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, he was in me here on a call. Too. But I put, I put a lot of effort into these. Like, I put this in the fridge. Oh, it was amazing. The screams could be heard all the way across the building. <laughs> and then I got poor Olek. He picked it up, and I, I just gave it to him after I pulled it out of the fridge. He Yikes. picked it up. It was like, what? He turned it over and made eye contact with it and eye threw contact, himself literally. across the room <laughs> screaming. Oh Alex <laughs> fell out of his chair. It was awesome. Yeah, that one, that's a gross one. Yeah. That's a gross one. Thank you. I can't be trusted. <laughs> That's the moral of the story. That's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's you're not alone. We've got uh, quite there, a few pranksters. Is there here. another prankster? Oh yeah. Ooh. In the office, it, it, like most of us, it's a prank each other. War over here. Now. Yeah. I'll make an effort to branch out over to yeah. the corporate side. Well, the the <laughs> chirper has been moving around for yes. the past like month. Yeah. So, yeah. I hit a chirper in. Grant's office, and it just chirped until the battery ran out, and he just didn't even <laughs> care. The tracks. <laughs> the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I was like, did you ever find that? And he's like, what? what I are you looked, about? and I was like, oh, never mind. Right there. Thanks. Yeah. For uh, yeah, sharing for your taking... stories, and... Yeah, thanks for uh, taking the time out of your day to... Yeah, glad to. Yeah. I and won't lie, can... I'm a little afraid that we just kind of gave you an invitation to uh, branch out, so... Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous now. Yeah. But. I mean... Yeah. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, well, thanks. Oh, I did forget. I bought some uh, 
marine grade air horns that I've distributed oh, about yes. the building. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard those. Really? Yeah. I don't yeah. think I've heard those at all. I've heard. I've been, heard them like once or twice. Yeah, uh, yeah. They they get found every now and then, and people use them. Uh, when you went on vacation, yeah, the one time and left your door unlocked okay. on accident, yeah, um, <laughs> which I don't know if you're aware, kind of kicked off. Um, all of the pranks that under, have happened since yes, history. A right? understanding a in series the, of immature activities. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kick off an understanding within the office that if you decide to go on vacation. Oh right. Yeah. You, you're not, you're safe. not safe. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, right. Yeah. It started with your office. Okay. So I don't know how much you know about what happened. Nothing that I I can recall a few things. Yeah. But none so, of it was dramatic what, what enough. Do you no. recall? Well, which one? <laughs> So when I remember my office was decorated. Yes, that's what we're talking about. Okay. Um, I remember you hung uh, you hung some stuff up on my lamp. Mm -hmm. You put something up on the wall. A mirror? There was, oh, right. So, <laughs> good prank. Which I think is still there. Yeah. And I was like, wait, had that always been there? Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, you know, I was like, okay. And I just got back to work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. There was something I'm, else you guys did. Oh, there was. There was, there was a lot. Really? There was a lot. Those were the, that it, was wasn't, a it wasn't good enough there for was, me to remember. There was. Uh, well, a, I just. I remember. I was at I home because I had gone. No. I had gone home like an hour earlier that day than yeah. than you did, Becca. Yeah. And so you were texting me just photos of random <laughs> things. And I remember it was the mannequin. Yeah. So oh, I was just getting mannequin, photos of mannequin yeah, legs yeah. sticking out from really random spots. So here's, <laughs> here's the embarrassing thing, as you all know about my office. It's such a train wreck. That I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm like, is that my crap? Did somebody put this in here? And uh, I'm not proud of that. Even not proud of that. With yes, the mannequin? The mannequin. <laughs> I like, feel like the mine? mannequin Probably. had made its way in my office several times over the years. Yeah. But so. that one I was like... Yeah, I remember that. I didn't notice There was it. like a fit sheet in your office yes. or something so, that we needed. And we were like, shoot, Grant's on vacation. His office is locked. This customer's going to have to wait. Yeah. And then we're like, well, let's just see. And then it like unlocked. So we grabbed both halves of a mannequin. Uh -huh. We found your leather cat mask. Yes. Oh, um, we forgot about the <laughs> leather yeah, that cat was on mask. mannequin. Yep. That scared oh, me looking right, through yeah. the window. Yes. I was like, oh my gosh. We, we, uh, we found, for some reason, we had little um, like Christmas decorations, yeah. ornaments yeah. of yeah. apples. They were apples. I don't yeah. know what we ever used those. Yeah. They're, and then they're still hanging on And then a, a mirror. <laughs> yeah. And then there was a mirror back there. I think yeah. it was uh, Steve's. And uh -huh. we were like, let's just hang weird yeah. stuff. Yeah. The yeah. torso, it took me a while. I think you guys were like, you guys were like, giggle, giggle. Has he seen it yet? And I was like, I was like, yeah, I saw the legs. But then you were like, no, there's more. And then I looked over and saw it. So that just shows how uh, I, I don't look out the window much. It's funny because it was probably just like right there. I yeah. put the mask on and it took me probably half a day to realize it was there. It's funny because anyone who walked by your window... There was definitely a look of like it was a jump scare. They were very disturbed <laughs> by what they saw. It was you know, a jump here's, scare. The, here's the funny thing about the mannequin, and maybe this is part of the the meta story of the mannequin. I feel <laughs> like that mannequin has been moved around this place so long that when I see the mannequin like dragged around, I'm just like, oh yeah, the mannequin has never had a home, <laughs> and so it's just me. And and I I probably saw it and I was like, oh, somebody just. I needed a place to put the mannequin, but I, I didn't associate with like that it was a prank until I saw. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's its new place. Until I saw the sticky note, and then I, I and had the, like four four chuckles, and I went back to work. <laughs> we should bring the mannequin on as a guest. Yeah, know? it sounds like it's got a whole story to tell. I mean, he could be part of a mixed history. I mean, he, <laughs> it, I don't know. It, it, they would have a lot of stories to tell. Yeah. Because they've been here longer yeah. than all of us. So. If only they could tell them. Yeah. But there is more to the prank that didn't actually happen. <laughs> oh, no. You've yeah. seen The Office, correct? I have, yes. And so the, you know of the, the stapler and the jello? Uh, Yes. Prank? From the yes, first episode. Yes, Jim and Dwight. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. So your cup has left the office a few times. Your, co your coffee mug <laughs> is one of several of our hosts. Not mug. that one. Wow. Okay. Safely. <laughs> 
And it got cleaned, I think. And for I you. will say, it did, yeah. whoever took it out of the office had the utmost sense of responsibility because if something bad happened to that mug, they would never feel okay about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. whoever that was yeah. definitely gave it a good cleaning for you. Yeah. Um, which I don't okay, know. So it wasn't, it wasn't in the church lost and found all no. this time that it's gone missing. It was taken from my office. Wait, what? Is it missing? No, I currently have it. Oh, okay. there's, there's, I was like, wait, what? Who there's been many now? times where I'm like, where's my dang mug? <laughs> no, okay. I think this and is when you think, were... Ah, shoot, I left it at church or I left it this somewhere. This was the same time when the mannequin got put in your office. Yeah, so okay. it got brought back it, before you... Okay. So that was the first time. The first oh, okay. time. So yeah, and so it was when you were on vacation and then... Okay, what'd you do? Did you guys try to poison me? What well, happened? Well, we, we tried to suspend it in jello. Oh. But the anatomy of that mug okay. makes it... It's very difficult oh. to suspend it. Yeah. Okay. It, okay. it wanted to float. Okay. And then once we finally figured out how to get it to be yeah, to in it. the bowl. Which may or may not have included putting gravel in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you have to wait it. We yeah, may or fine. may not have gone out in a parking lot. But... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but then uh, trying to present it, unmold um, it. Uh huh. It, it was a fail. It was, it was too heavy. a disaster. Oh. The mug was way too heavy for the jello, and the jello just collapsed. So it was a mug. Kind of covered in Jello, sitting on top of a plate of decomposed <laughs> Jello. Jello. <laughs> Even that, I would have been like, "Oh, sweet Jello." And I would <laughs> no, like, you would have been like, "Oh, there's my mug." I like, oh. like, cool. And then I would have I like felt gravel go down my throat, and I've been like, "Gosh, this is okay." We go no, I'm not, I'm That's not crazy. surprised. Yeah, it's, just, it's just Dale coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. favorite. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, so yeah, we tried, but it, tried, didn't, yeah. it did not work. And I think that was attempted a second time by other yeah. individuals. Oh, okay. So so it's just the impossible it Jello was, mug. Yeah. So it was sitting on Nathan's desk, and this was recently when you were gone. Okay. And I <laughs> grabbed it, and I was like, "Yeah." try it and okay. then i took it home uh -huh. and then i talked to other people about it and they're like it doesn't work and i was like i give up so i brought it back <laughs> <laughs> and i did not i did not do it so. yeah that mug cannot be broken yeah it's an heirloom oh absolutely yeah no yeah and no. so anytime, i was like <laughs> no just like walking out the parking lot, i was like yeah no the parking lot is what stressed don't, me yeah, out don't too don't like on my way to the car i was yeah. like don't yeah it's not that's an what it was it was uh my wife got it for me for Christmas like three years ago. I think it was five bucks at a thrift store. <laughs> so, still, but we know it's one of your still. prized possessions. Yeah. But all that to say, it. every time you have been like, "Where's my coffee mug?" That wasn't anyone who took it. I think that was you just. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It was in the church <laughs> last time. Big fans who watch all of our videos have yeah. seen both of you. You've both yeah. been on Nick's USA, mm -hmm. uh, Boot of the Week videos. Yeah. 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 But yeah. yeah, I was on the cover of like GQ, uh, of GQ Magazine at, at some point. But Yeah. I think yeah. I missed that one. You might have missed it. I was yeah. on the cover. Okay. It it didn't the last I think year. I purposely missed it. Yeah. <laughs> purposely? <Okay. laughs> I hate you, Abby. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. I work in customer service, so cool. I do emails sometimes, answer phones, I ship accessories, and, and that kind of stuff. Nice. Uh, right. I work in the store, and I do fitting and sales, so it's kind of a broad, broad job. Like yeah. when I'm doing fitting or working in store with a customer, mm -hmm. I'm doing customer service stuff. Yeah, so you're you're the Nick that they get to come see. Yeah. I did not make this business in 1964, <laughs> and uh, if you I did, great. I would look really good for my age. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I, that's what I tell people. <laughs> Oh, you want to actually talk just, about oh, these? Oh, okay. I think the two of you are probably. <laughs> well, some I think of the... my thing kind of backfired. Yeah, yeah. Me with did, with did Abby. you learn a lesson that day? Oh well, yeah. Well, what? I had to buy you lunch. So. What thing is that? Yes, again. So I got these noisemakers that make cricket noises every three to twenty minutes randomly. <laughs> um, That's great. Placed a couple great. throughout the office in production, and. Then I saw Abby digging through her desk one day, and I was like, what are you doing? Because there was one on Abby's desk, and she's like, oh, I'm cleaning out. And I'm like, oh, that's not what you're doing at all. You're trying to find the cricket noise. And then when she found it, I came back on Tuesday. And on Mon I don't work Mondays, so she apparently she got up on a ladder on Monday and put it above an air vent in the showroom. Mm -hmm. And I have customers in there that I'm, like, trying to work with. 
And there's just like cricket noises going off as I'm talking to people. And I'm like, I know that the customer can hear this, but we're both not going to talk about it. Yeah, that right there. there that right there. That I don't know if the sound picked that up, but yeah. Um, we just have a cricket and so I was like, I don't know where this thing is. I thought I had located it next to the, like the belts and stuff. But I'm, I'm like, I could never find it. And so I just had to go and ask Abby. I'm like, we got to do a truce because mm-hmm. I got to take this thing out of the showroom. I yeah. can't have this in here anymore. He literally came up and was like, I'll buy you a corn dog if you just tell me, <laughs> just tell me where thing. it is. And I was like, ah, I'll think about it. And then he goes back to the showroom. I go back to shipping. And then I just come into the showroom with this huge ladder. And I just stand up <laughs> as I'm staring him in the eyes. And I just climb the whole way up the ladder, get into the vent. And I grab it. And I was like, I will take a corn dog. <laughs> and then put the ladder back. And yeah. Well, it came in a package of three of them. Yeah. So I got my money's worth, okay. really. Yeah, you so really did. I yeah. thought there was just one that's been traveling around. Because I no, there's... thought you put it on my desk first. And I found it within like 10 minutes. And then brought it over to you. It's like... So you've been uh, playing any pranks? <laughs> hey, I made you. You know, I made you clean your desk, though. You did, which you did. needed See, to be done. Say, that, it yeah. did. I will. I will definitely agree to that. Overdue. Um, same thing with me. I cleaned yeah. out my whole desk. Now that I'm remembering, you didn't put it in my desk. You put it back by my accessory shipping area, and I was cleaning. I was oh, getting all the right. paper, right. and I looked at it, and I was like, "What is that?" Because it looks kind of weird. It has like a battery sticking mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. And I picked it up and I look at Tribe and I was like, did you see who did this? And he's like, yes, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> so I instantly was like, I'm on a mission now. Like, And so I go to Lucas and I was like, who did it? And he's like, I'm not telling you. And then somebody eventually was like, yeah, it was Nick. And I was like, oh. Oh, Nick, you have no idea what you just started. Yeah, apparently not. And no, that then, thing so, backfired on me. And then I put it in the vent. And yeah. So I don't know what happened after the vent, but eventually it ended up in the break room. And oh yeah, that's crazy. Who that? <laughs> that's crazy. You that's know, for a prankster, you where have was it in there? I never learned face. where it was. Um, it was crammed inside the couch in the couch uh, okay. arm rest. Yeah, like underneath the leather. Yeah. Um, Maddie actually is the one who pointed it out to me because she was laying down on the couch and it was she was right laying her, her head hair. on it. Um, so then oh I God. snagged it and it was like, you know what? I'm turning this off. I'm just gonna give it a few days. And then one day, I'm, I'm the last to leave. It's like, all right, now's the time. Everyone's gone. And so I so put it <laughs> I put it behind your drawer in your desk. Mm-hmm. And I think you, didn't you take your whole desk apart to try and? Yeah, so Maddie sits right next to me. So pranking me, you initially, was, yeah. or you're also pranking her. Yeah, I know. So, I didn't think about that. I felt bad. The first day, you were <laughs> shipping, and she was the only one sitting there. I was yeah. like, ah. Oh, Dang it. Yeah. I didn't think that through. So we get, I get here like two hours before you get here. And so I was like, we have to find this before he gets here. I was like, he can't know that you won. Like I have to get it. (laughs) So me and Maddie tear apart my entire desk. And the part that you put it in is like, it rolls. So we like move that out of the way and we're searching everywhere. And all of a sudden we hear it and we turn around and I was like, okay, we know it's in there, but I couldn't take the drawers out. And I was like, how did you do that? So Maddie literally got a screwdriver and she took the whole back of the rolly, you know, drawer thing completely apart and then it was just taped there and i was like did he like unscrew it I just, no I just you taped just it oh wait we, we put it on her desk another time too yeah because yeah. i put it inside of her and you taped it on the back no so i opened the drawer and i was going to take the drawer out and put it on the back but it doesn't it doesn't come, come out off. yeah and that's oh. why i was like how so did I he get it in put there tape and managed to reach up behind and just kind of stick it in the smart back. move yeah i like it yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I turned around as they were doing this and the whole like Chair over here, floor <laughs> over here. Yeah, I remember seeing them doing that. That was like, great. Okay, perfect. If they find it, I don't care. This this is what I wanted. She spent like 10 to 15 minutes at least trying to... Yeah, only 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> Definitely only 10 to 15 minutes. <laughs> but, um, and then you, you got me back. Mm-hmm. Another ladder moment. Yeah, another ladder moment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> had me feeling like I was going crazy for a while because <laughs> it would go off and be like, it's to my left. And then well, this one was really funny. it'd go off again and be like, it's to my right. It's directly above you. I'd spin around <laughs> and I'd see every, you, Maddie, and you just looking at me and laughing. Like, was this another above the air vent one? It no, was, it, it was an air vent. It was, it was directly above where I sit. On you know those? One, on the on light. The hanging those lights. lights? Yeah. It was oh, just wow. taped yeah. right on top of it. Yeah. Directly above his head. But... Abby having the terrible poker face that she does. I just had to talk to her a few times. She'd be like, where is it? Where did you hide it? And she'd be talking to me, and then her eyes would 
part up for a second <laughs> as she's smirking. I can't hide anything. And I was like, okay, she put it somewhere up high again. That's and so I, funny. I immediately thought air vents. And so after everyone went home again, last to leave, I grabbed the giant ladder, brought it over there, set it up, struggled, the desk's in the way. I was like, there's no way she did this. There's no way she grabbed this giant ladder and tried to put it in this air vent. So I put it back. Right before I gave up, I grabbed one of the smaller ladders and brought it over and climbed up the car. I'm just gonna look around and got up and I was like, there it is. Yeah, no, Kelsey definitely witnessed me struggle mm -hmm. with that huge yeah. ladder. And I, it took, it was hard. No, it was very funny. And I, it, it, it was really, it, cause it's a huge ladder. So there yeah. was also a lot of like noise. <laughs> cause you're like, you're by yourself it's till like early in the morning. Help, and you're like, no. And you're just like unfolding this ladder yeah. and trying to get up on it. Um, but it was really funny because you kept asking me where it was too because you knew I knew. I definitely interrogated you. And uh, I I had to stop looking at him because yeah. <laughs> I was like, like, I can't give it away with my you, eyes. You, you did a little bit too. You were like uh, a confirmation. It's like she looked up too. Okay. So there's a lot, bunch of little stuff I think because we have pretty much started this full blown war mostly because mm -hmm. of you two. Um, you know, things like nice, nice. batteries in the, my keyboard uh, disappearing. Um, <laughs> You know the classic tape under the mouse sensor to that make someone's oh, that so mad. Very annoying. That made me so <laughs> oh mad. I was God. like freaking out. I look at Maddie. I was like, "What is happening? My mouse is just broken. It was fine." And then I lift it, and I was like, "Never mind." <laughs> it's <laughs> a classic. That. It's a classic. Yeah, guy. that's a good one. I think you enjoyed the uh, the printer jam one too. Oh my when I first gosh! I forgot about that. Yeah. That one. That's probably my favorite. What was that one? That is my favorite. So, oh my gosh! I I had a hectic morning one day, <laughs> and. Nick or I forget which one of you walked. So, I had her do it. Nick yeah, you, would, me, you would never trust me. Yeah. <laughs> Nick comes up to me and he's like, "I need you to do something very important." And I was like, "I got you. What's up?" And he's like, "Can you put these in the printer?" And I was like, "Yeah." And so, it's just like two little on, packs of on. jam. So, yes. So, <laughs> so, for some reason, for people watching and listening, I have been deemed the tech wizard. I have no idea why. I know how to do Google searches when things are broken, but. When something breaks, typically they go, hey, Lucas, we have this issue. And so Abby walks up to him and goes, hey, so the printer's jammed. Can you take a look at it? I said, I think there's a jam in the printer. Can you go look at it? Yeah. And I was like, I don't. Okay, did you like check the paper? He was so annoyed and I had to keep I, it together. I was, I was like, having a rough day. I think I had like a hundred things I was already dealing with. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay, I'll look at it. Mm -hmm. And I think I did like three other things. And I was like, right, I got to look at the printer. And I walk over. And I was like, it doesn't say it's jammed. And I open up the paper thing, and there's just a packet of jam <laughs> sitting no, on top of the paper. What made this so good is that Nick was able to witness it because there's a window. Oh, yeah, I was watching through that window. There's just, a window just looking right at him, next. Open the thing and look at the jam in there. So as soon as I amazing. hear him open the printer, I like stand up above my cubicle, and he looks at me, and then I look at Nick. And it was just this exchange, and I was like, oh, this is so great. Yeah, beautiful. that was a good one. I completely forgot about that one. Ah, oh, that was beautiful. That was great. That's hilarious. Yeah. So it's just, <laughs> I think it's just ongoing now. It, um, unless we decide to ever call a ceasefire, I don't think it'll end. Uh, heck no. Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't see that happening. I don't think that's going to happen. I, no. We'll call it as a prank. <laughs> and then we'll as a prank, yeah. Get you, like, <laughs> to lull you into yeah. like, security. You're safe now. Yeah. You're safe. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a pleasure being here with you guys, and I really do appreciate everyone wearing the bolo ties. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. Thanks for the Love gift, the bolo by the tie. way. It, it makes me happy so to cute. see everybody in the office wearing them. It really does. Yeah. Well, we always get to... Oh, oh there, there she goes. <laughs> there's, there's the final <laughs> words. All right. Final, final words. words. Yeah. Awesome. All right. This is a mess. Um, <laughs> I think, I mean, first things first. Um, we have um, Micah's um, hobby, fascination. Oh, that's, that's first? Oh, yeah. yeah. It was entirely voluntary. I, yeah. You know. I call it an obsession. Obsession with chickens. Yeah, no, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Micah's obsession with chickens of all types. Mostly, mostly small, <laughs> small rubber chickens. <laughs> Uh, uh, it got wait, worse. Particularly yeah. the, the small yellow ones that are, you know, yeah. like an inch mm -hmm. and a half, mm -hmm. maybe two mm -hmm. inches. I don't know, somewhere in that realm. But uh, yeah, no, there's a uh, there's a few of them on my desk now. It was just a few, <laughs> just, just a couple. Like enough. Two, three, 
40. I don't know. Not, to be <laughs> <laughs> not to be known as the uh, the, the chi- chicken man or like the yeah. guy who loves chickens yeah. by all the uh, the office children of, of Nick's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How did the chickens start? You know, I feel like that's not a question that should be directed at me. Um, <laughs> how did the chicken start? How do you think the chicken started, Micah? <laughs> well, <laughs> I would say, gosh, when I came back from my buddy's wedding, I've been to like five or six weddings in the last All year. All your and friends half. keep getting married. I know, it's wild. That's, it, that's, it that's, it you still seems have like single you... friends. <laughs> <laughs> It almost seems like you just can't come up with an excuse while you're taking a day off. You're like, well, someone's getting married. I'm... It's like Grant and the dentist. I got yeah. a dentist. Like, oh, my friend's having a wedding. Like, no yeah. one actually goes to the dentist anymore. It's 2023. Mm. <laughs> no, I I was at one of their weddings. I, I can't remember which. Um, I came back and there were just a couple yellow plastic chickens on my desk. And... Uh, you know, I didn't really know what to do with that. I wasn't sure how they got there, but I wasn't particularly bothered, so I just kind of left them there, you know? And um, after a while, they started growing. There's more. Uh, there started to be some little works of art on my the desk. The chickens were not growing. They were multiplying. Oh, yes, <laughs> yeah. thank you. Yeah, they did not. Yeah, they weren't that would physically be, that would growing be larger. <laughs> I'd be a little bit more concerned. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> some works of art made their way. I got a little like clay tree and everything. So you know, after a while, I kind of figured out. I was like, well, this is a thing. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes I wouldn't even miss time. Usually, it was when I missed time, I'd come back and there'd be more. Sometimes I wouldn't even stop. I'd just come to work the next day, and there'd be like another chicken or two, one, one on, my, on top of my computer, you know. And uh, it's it's multiplied. It's pretty bad. I haven't counted. I haven't counted actually ever. So maybe we should count. Soon. I have noticed you've stopped picking them up from the ground. Mm-hmm. You just. Leave them yeah. I noticed that too. There's always just a few chickens on the ground around your your space now. It's starting to get a little tiring. I got a little desk. I bump it a lot, and now there's children running around, so like they'll bump into it. You know, like I can't. These chickens, they are balanced like along the top of my thin computer screen. So you know, a little little tap, and they just wobble right off. There's a little space around behind the desk. They fall back there. Oh, I, I wonder how many uh, chickens are behind your desk. Somewhere. Probably, you know, probably a few. It's kind of like when you pull out that old dresser, like the, <laughs> like when you're moving or something, and there's just just a, a splash of <laughs> yeah. colorful things back there. Yeah, I imagine there's some chickens. So was there inspiration behind the chickens, or was it just, uh, let's buy some chickens? It was a let's buy some chickens. There was zero thought put into Zero this. thought. <laughs> we were um, in like a, like a trinket store in Seattle, and... I just saw like this little tiny bag full of these like little one inch rubber chickens I thought was hilarious. Um, and I just, yeah, I thought, I thought to myself, this would be very funny to put on Micah's desk. <laughs> the thing is, we, and that was it. That's how it started. Micah's. No, yeah. it was yes. very specifically. Mutually, I said, this we is were like, funny. so Micah, right? Because yeah. <laughs> I, I went over and I said, this would be hilarious. We should put this on somebody's desk. And then we both were like, Micah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so then we got uh like one or two bags that day and then decided that we wanted to exponentially increase them like every week um so we ended up having to go to amazon to f- find more bags they're hard to find they're very hard and to find they're expensive and they only come in little bags at 12 of 12 mm-hmm. yep yeah. If I could have so, found like a bulk bag of like five hundred of these tiny little rubber chickens, and there'd be five hundred chickens. We have searched. Yeah, multiple people have searched, scoured the internet for chickens in bulk. You can't buy chickens in bulk. You can't buy them in bulk. <laughs> I guess I should thank capitalism for filtering out <laughs> <laughs> bulk purchases of small rubber chickens. It's or definitely ch- yeah. plastic chickens. Yeah, yeah, the demand for bulk chickens just isn't there. <laughs> Which I don't understand. I, yeah. Honestly, I feel yeah, like, like, like it's a it's a gap in the market. It's a huge gap in I the market. I think the demand Guys, is there. We're on to something. <laughs> Nick's rubber chickens. Come oh my god, <laughs> to our accessories page. Yeah. So I mean, I guess the same time you guys also acquired some other items mm-hmm. to sprinkle around the office. Was it the same time? I am still unsure about that. I don't know where the time frame is. Here's the thing. It all blends together. Because I don't remember how the other one got started. I remember doing it. I feel like... <laughs> Which other one? <laughs> Which one are you talking about? What are you talking about? about? I'm confused now. What is everyone talking about? I don't know. I, I started the conversation and now I'm confused. <laughs> 
he's like, I was referring to Google. Google. I, I feel like this okay. is a situation where like we're getting interrogated and we're trying to get our story straight so we don't incriminate the other or admit faults. Stop making eye contact. <laughs> the we have secrets we have to keep. Lots of secrets. I was referring to the googly eyes. So yeah, I yes, came that's back what I was. Okay, vacation. yeah, me too. Okay, great. But um, so you went on vacation and then a couple of us were standing around trying to figure out what to do to Lucas's desk because yeah. he's going to be gone. Yeah. Because, like, it's ever since Grant went on vacation, it was kind of like anytime somebody goes on it's vacation. It's a free-for-all. Yeah, what what can we do yeah. to make their life a little extra difficult <laughs> when they get back? <laughs> How can we inconvenience them? Yeah. Pretty much. What a, yeah. Great, what a great just, like, thought process for <laughs> yeah. like, In a general yeah. workplace environment. Like, yeah. No. You know. But, yeah, so then I, uh, I think I was just in, like, a craft store or something, and then I was like, oh, I wonder if they have googly eyes because we had talked about googly eyes. But yeah, I managed to find a bag of multi, like a variety size pack of googly eyes. And then um, everybody in the office took turns putting them everywhere mm-hmm. on your desk. Everywhere. Like we lifted up papers. We moved around his little desk, like nook knickknacks and whatnot. And yeah, they ended up, they ended up everywhere. Mm-hmm. I, I think just about every object on or around my desk had googly eyes regardless of if it was actually mine and most of it still to this day has those googly eyes yeah it was a really good office bonding experience though like everybody in the office was over there to a degree that like shyler was like what are you guys is anyone working right now (laughs) we're all like no they're off like they were supposed to go home 15 minutes ago they're just hanging out yeah Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, group activity. Like, I was bonding. We're bonding. Exactly. <laughs> I would like to specify that I am fully innocent. <laughs> Not responsible for a single pair of googly eyes. I am. <laughs> I, I think you're the only innocent one in the office in regards to all pranks. Except for very, very minor ones, yes. I, I did rearrange. Kelsey's pictures. Oh, yeah, which oh, took right. me a oh, very long time to notice. Yeah, you didn't I notice that. I think it's the one prank that didn't really It was the photos, register. yeah. Register. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I moved around some of your stuff, too. I don't think you noticed either. Oh, she noticed mm-hmm. immediately. There was one time when we, where when we moved, you moved everything on your bookshelf. Right. We mirrored it. I caught that, but Micah yeah. just moved a couple things, and that I did not notice, which yeah. I think is because you tactfully moved them, and so the new arrangement didn't bother me. And I was like, yeah, that looks good. That oh, goes. yeah. No, it was very much just, like, swapping photos. Yeah. Like, it was it was a few... I can't remember all the little details, but I made sure that it was... At least Becca noticed. Spec- spec- <laughs> specified. <laughs> are, you, are you referring to me? Yes. I have swapped your pictures and everything on your desk. I've moved everything <laughs> like three inches to the left, everything three inches to the right, and you'd never notice. Well, if you look at my desk compared to Rebecca's desk, there are some key <laughs> differences between how we have our things arranged. Fair. Fair. <laughs> Maurice wasn't really meant to be a prank. No. Well. Well. (laughs) It was. I mean, white elephant. Maurice was a statement. White elephants are pretty much like a mutual prank, depending on the white elephant. (laughs) Yeah, so this was our um, our, our white elephant for our Christmas parties, our thrift store finds. Mm -hmm. So it naturally... It yes. turned out to be like, what is the weirdest thing you can get from a thrift store and bring yeah. and wrap mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. your coworkers? Um, and Becca managed to find this lad. I will say, we did this very last, last this year. So I was a little bit stressed <laughs> about finding a quality white elephant gift. Yeah. So I couldn't find anything. <laughs> and then I like rounded a corner. And Maurice was just like on the top shelf. Like, literally hidden behind other things. So all I could see was, like, side profile. (laughs) Just, like, staring at me from behind stuff. And I was like, what in the world is that? (laughs) And so I walked over and picked it up. And Maurice has, like, waited. So I was just like, oh, my gosh, I have to go find Kelsey. And so I, like, rounded a corner. And I was like, Kelsey, do you want to see the weirdest thing and she was like i don't know not Do really I? and, they turned and around then i like, and was right there picked it up and she was like that's pretty oh, much what happened no, Mike. i'm pretty sure all you said was oh <laughs> <laughs> it was truly speechless. i didn't know 
Yeah. I so mean, then the more I carried it around, the more I felt like I was like forming some sort of weird attachment. Well, the way you can hold it, it's almost like you're holding a kid. Like yeah. You're holding a toddler, you know, and you just like catch yourself randomly doing it and you're just like, okay, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> so it lived yeah. in the trunk of my car. Because it was not like coming in the apartment. It was not allowed in the apartment. It was not allowed in the apartment. Because I'm pretty sure it's haunted. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I brought it to the white elephant, and Abby picked up the bag, and I was like, <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. And yeah. You, you had told me that the gift you got was cursed. <laughs> and so as soon as you got that and opened it up, and I saw it, you I was knew. like, that's what she's talking about. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I opened it up, and I was like, oh, this is super cute. And then I heard you say something about it being cursed. And so my fiance was there with me and I like hand it to him and he just disappears. Like he goes into the offices <laughs> while we're all at the party and he comes back and he goes, I just put it in Lucas's backpack. And I was like, oh, okay, great. And then we just left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. And I did not notice until we were just about to leave, which was like what, 10, 11 at night. Yeah. It was late. I don't know. We it was a Friday. We worked a full day and then had a party. Had, and then we yeah. just stayed to clean it up. And then like two different vacuums died. And then... <laughs> yeah. So we were all pretty exhausted. And um, I went to go grab my bag and grabbed it, looked at it. This doesn't look right. I have a laptop, a journal, and two, maybe two books in my bag at all times, and the bag was just puffed out. Wasn't it a little heavy, too? Yeah. Well, and I, I picked it up and was like, wait a minute. And I think I said that out loud, and everyone turned <laughs> as I unzipped it and pulled Maurice out. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone just kind of buckled over. Uh, and I'm pretty laughter. sure you just went, Talon? <laughs> yeah. I knew immediately. I was like, oh, it was Talon. So I decided... I'm not taking this home. This is not coming with me. Because <laughs> I know it's cursed. Yeah. So I put it in your uh, office chair and mm -hmm. positioned it so that hopefully you didn't notice it until you went to go pull your, your seat out. Yeah. So Monday, because I was on a Friday night. So Monday comes around and I come into work and I pull my chair out and there's Maurice sitting on my chair with a pair of scissors in his hand. <laughs> I definitely did not put those scissors there. So okay. that was all Maurice. Okay, sure. Gotcha. Yeah. Maurice Honestly. doesn't like being abandoned, Abby. Yeah. That's what it was. I didn't even do it. I didn't even do it. It was talent. <laughs> but yeah, so she, he, they're just living in the office now. Mm -hmm. Um, Still will not take it home with me. The name was the Absolutely creepiest not. in the yes. name to me. That's when I was convinced it was haunted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this has moved around the office a number of times. Like mm -hmm. it just keeps getting rehomed and it finally just got put behind a giant plant. Plant. Which we have that's already dying. mentioned should be dead by now. It was brought in mm -hmm. precisely because it was dying, and Nathan was just like, Well, somebody's gotta help help it. Yeah, I, I'm I, I don't know what here. to do. I think he was basically like, You have one small plant on your desk, you can take care of this <laughs> yeah. massive tropical, tropical plant. plant. Never yeah. mind that the plant before that died on your desk, and this one's also not doing well. <laughs> <Correct>. <laughs> And then Debbie is actually the one that takes care of the single plant on yeah. my desk last weekend. Um, and so Maurice just got like put behind it, kind of like hugging the pot so you can like see its head through the leaves. Um, one, that plant has stayed alive. And to my knowledge, no one has watered it. Mm -mm. No. So that's spooky. I don't love that. <laughs> so, and to reiterate, this is a tropical plant that should be getting lots of water. That was yeah. dying when it was brought and in. Sunlight. I was gonna say, yeah. or at least and like sunlight. humidity, which yeah. is not Nothing, we don't have yeah. here. No. So, have it. <laughs> and nothing. very little sunlight. Yes, at least where it's at. Yeah. See, I don't know why you guys think he's haunted. Like he's taking care of. Well, I mean, there's there's good hauntings, I guess, but. The, oh, the, the name, name was the, the name, name, the name. Yeah. was the so we were all leaving why did it come up i have no I idea think lucas just looked over at my desk and he's like we should probably name it at this mm, point mm, i think i mentioned it's even creepier behind the plant because you don't really notice it until you like notice it <laughs> and... <laughs> plan. That's weird how that works yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and I, yeah so, I don't so i don't remember how the conversation about its name i don't know up. how the name thing came up i think up. someone just said it needs well, it a should, name it or... should probably have a name it's been it's here long be enough here. yeah and so we're all just like sitting there thinking and then at like the same moment you two go maurice yeah which was the scariest moment of my and life. in my <laughs> head i was thinking maureen yeah yep and so i'm pretty sure this thing is like 
it's an sentient. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it definitely it's, told us its name. It I don't know how. It's projecting its name. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So, if anyone has any like background knowledge on on Maureen or Maurice, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> Please take it back. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can you can have this back now. I don't I don't, don't want push it. Him towards me. I do think the Everybody. biggest payoff of any of our pranks was your reaction to the googly eyes on your phone. There was that. Yes. That one was it was delayed, but. That was, I think, a week or two after I got back and had settled on the the fact that there's googly eyes everywhere. Um, but I don't answer phones much. But I think someone wanted to talk to a manager about something. I just remember, like, game face, manager face, and I pick up the phone and see the googly eyes <laughs> and immediately had to go and press hold because I started to laugh. <laughs> I just turned and looked at everyone and shook my head. <laughs> and well, I think there are a few people, I had forgotten that those were there at all, so I didn't actually know what was going on in that moment. <laughs> but I think a, f- a few people like knew you were going to be answering the phone and were like waiting yes, mm-hmm. in anticipation for you. <laughs> See yeah. the googly eyes. When, which is very funny. When placing them, I was definitely like, I want him to be finding these like months later mm-hmm. and yeah. like open a new part of his desk or like move something and be like, oh my gosh, there's more. Like, when is this ever going to end? Um, yeah, that was pretty much yeah. the whole goal. Yeah. It's never going to end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it is. It's funny because I was looking for the cricket when you put it above um, me that one mm-hmm. time. And I. <laughs> Pulled my table out and was like looking underneath it. I was like, oh, more googly eyes. I just casually See, mentioned one of the most prolific exactly. pranks in the office, the mm-hmm. cricket. Yeah, yeah. The cricket. The click cricket. Oh, that's the other thing that you've you've done. You swapped the displays yes. on my computer. Yes. That was when we swapped everything that else was, on yeah, your desk. Yeah. And I thought for a second maybe I went too far. Because like, uh, she's going to notice this and then notice everything else. But I do hope nah. it was a mild inconvenience for you. It was. It took me a minute because I think the the mouse tracking's backwards as well. Yep. So I was like, wait, how? No, yep. no. If you flip the screens and you try and go from the right screen to the left screen, it just hits the wall. <laughs> yeah. 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 The other side. Yep. Man, we were totally going to one of these days. We were gonna. Uh, well, this was actually a long time ago. We were gonna change your back screen or your screensaver to oh. like all of us. A picture of all of us. Just like yeah. a selfie of all of us. Aww. Never go on vacation. Never go on vacation. <laughs> Just don't take breaks. Never trust your coworkers and never let your guard down. Dang, that's like so bad. <laughs> We're kidding. Sounds like the it's not like that. Life. We love working here. I like to think of pranking as like. It's the best kind like, of hostile work environment. Exactly. <laughs> that's not what I was gonna say. It's I just like a yeah, very maybe, different but... direction. But um, I often say like. Sass is a love language, mm. mm-hmm. and I kind of feel like pranking is a like a subsect of of that. I appreciate so. that because I am called very sassy by a lot of my close friends. Yep. In fact, another prank: my brother, while he worked here, decided to buy a sticker that said something along the lines of "I'm I'm a sassy girl" or something. <laughs> And, it was all pink and like yeah. bubble letters, you know, oh like sparkles, and, like and slapped it on my bumper. It was and oh my I did not notice for like a minute. Oh my god! No, that's a prank. That's yeah. Because who looks at the back of their car? I mean, normal I, I do. <laughs> I do appreciate, though, as the customer service manager, that pranks do take place in, like, a lighthearted manner. It's yeah. not, like, during working hours. Everybody makes sure they get everything done. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Never during business hours. Never. It's never impacted never metrics as far as I no. can tell. Oh, no. And right. if it has, don't we tell do me. Get our, we do get our job. <laughs> I feel like there's more. I think that's. I think that's. I think that's the gist of it. That's, yeah. that's the gist of it. Yeah, that's most of them covered. I'd yeah. say. I'm trying to remember anything yep. else. Mm-hmm. Pretty much just constant low level shenanigans. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes. Darn shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, what a word. <laughs> Hoodlum. Hoodlums. Yeah. <laughs> We had um, Becca here because she's actually the mastermind behind uh, the next uh, prank. Is she the one who planned it all? The prank? She's the one. She was her idea. 
I helped plan it, but she was the one that thought of it. Right. Um, I don't remember when. I was so disappointed. <laughs> when? Why? I, when I came in. So, real quick. <laughs> I was the let's... only one who actually dressed up. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> so, before we get too far into it, I, I do want to just real quick for the two who haven't been here for the the other bits oh, right. of this podcast. If you two could introduce yourselves, uh, full name, please. It's not gonna be funny. All right, yeah, I'm Luke Larson, the original Luke here. Well, what is your what is your legal name? Lucas. Thank you. I am Lucas. <laughs> wow. Larson, the original Lucas here. What a church boy! And yeah. well, that's a good church. My name. Christian name is Lucas. Oh, and and you, sir? Oh, uh, I'm <laughs> I'm Lucas Meinzinger, <laughs> also known as Lou. In customer service? <laughs> I thought you were saying Luke, but just Luke. in a weird way. No, no so, I just drag it out. Oh, you a, say Lou? He yeah. says I Lou. I also thought it was Luke. Yeah, no, he goes he goes by Lou because Luke is already taken. Yeah, I get and, it. So, but it's like I'm Lucas. You can kind of figure it out because he, if it like involves belts, it's him. If it mm-hmm. involves literally anything else, it's probably me. And then if they're like, oh. That guy, if it's like a compliment. <laughs> if it's a compliment. Or they'll be you like, oh, <laughs> I talked to you like five years ago. I'm like, that wasn't me. Yeah, that wasn't me. <laughs> I haven't either. been here that long. So we're we're talking about last Halloween. We've, we've talked about our Halloween. white elephant holiday party pranks. We've talked about vacation pranks, but... Mm-hmm. Halloween was also an Halloween was an all office, all hands on deck. It was very fun. It very big it surprise. Was <laughs> it was a, there was a lot of planning involved, um, but because we already have three Lucases, we just thought um, that it would be funny if everybody was a Lucas disturbing. that day. Absolutely I don't know if you disturbing. can, if you're watching, you can tell that all three of these Lucases uh, have very different uh, styles, and so. Everybody in the office picked one. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and dressed up, um, and it was so funny. I think seeing the looks on on well, you you Luke was the funniest because <laughs> because I was standing in front of you with yeah. my apron because I was like waiting for you to notice, <laughs> and like, then you what? kind of just like come around the corner and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, remember that. I got here early, yeah, and you guys were all getting ready, like, and I. I look around the corner. Everyone's wearing like orange hats that, <laughs> and blacks, upper like sweatshirts and jackets. So, <laughs> we want to call it blouse, um, but yeah, I was like, I had no idea what was going on. I had no idea. Like I was more than anything upset because I was like. I, I came in and I was wearing my Indiana Jones costume. Right. And I'm you like, did look really cool. Yeah, I was like, all right. I hope everyone else dresses up or at least tries a little bit. And, and they did. everyone did try. <laughs> you know but also I was so disappointed. <laughs> I was like, no. I did not dress up. I just wore my free hat and free sweatshirts. <laughs> it's funny is I considered wearing my Halloween costume to work. And I was like, I don't think anyone else is going to dress up for Halloween. And Kelsey, yeah. you know my Halloween costume. Yeah, it's the one that you have that you wear like the, every my, time. Because I've spent so much time <laughs> assembling it. It's essentially like a Boy Scout costume. <laughs> yeah. Um, from a particular Wes Anderson movie. Yeah, um, that's a good one too. Coonskin hat, patches, everything. It is, I will say, it um, is a fantastic costume. It's it's pretty uncanny, but actually. I was like, I don't know if anyone else is dressing up. And if I show up and I am dressed as a Boy Scout and no one else <laughs> is dressed up. <laughs> That's a big risk, yeah. yeah. And any of the Jones I can play it off. It's like, right. oh, I'm trying to different casual wear and all that yeah. sort of stuff. You know, oh, this hat, I've had it forever. And there's no way I was dressing up. I hate Halloween more than anything. What? Like, you don't hate Yeah, Halloween. like in elementary school, like I had the worst costumes. Uh, like one year I went as Bigfoot because Ooh. I had these giant blow up Bigfoot feet. But no one bought me the upper part of the costume. So my grandma <laughs> said, well, wear this potato sack. And I had to wear a potato sack and these blow up Bigfoot feet to school. And it was just like everyone made fun of me. It was like, that's great. like rock of sockums, but for your feet. It was oh, a God. giant inflatable Bigfoot feet and a, and a potato sack. It was my Bigfoot costume. Man. See, I, I love like, Halloween. I've been scarred. But that day, it was a slow burn for me because... Let's be honest, we're in the PNW. Red flannels are kind of like... They're pretty common. Yeah. 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 It's a pinnacle of the PNW wear. Yep. I think I was wearing flannel, too. I think, <laughs> I think I walked in and I saw Emily's daughter wearing a red flannel. And I was like, oh, she looks cute. That's that's, that's neat. And then, <laughs> oh, I like that shirt. Yeah. 
And then it wasn't, I, I don't think it was until I saw Becca wearing a red flannel because yeah. that is so unlike her. Well, she bought it for the prank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Such a bright color for her to wear <laughs> in her typical color, yeah. all black attire. Yeah. And then I was like, wait a minute. One, two, three, four. There's a lot of red flannels. I see a lot of orange hats. <laughs> I see what's happening here. It only clicked to me when I stopped and I just looked at the name tags that everyone was wearing. And I was oh, right. like, oh, yeah, we did all have uh, name tags. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, and I just sat down at my desk, just yeah. head down like, oh. And then the whole entire, my favorite part about it is that Luke's outfit, we have all that stuff in yeah. stock. People yeah. were like, oh, yeah, let's hop on to that bandwagon. Grant was just, down. I think, handing out our high-vis hats. Hats. hats to everybody. Yeah. 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 yeah, It was really funny Bad. because uh, you would just see, like, a line of orange hats walking <laughs> past, like, the window in the office. Um, <laughs> it was very oh funny gosh. to see all of the... All of yeah. the um, Lucas's congregated there together. Were, there was a lot of Lukes because it was like, oh yeah, I'll just go grab a hat. Yeah, anybody who like didn't yeah. actually have anything was just just went and grabbed an orange mm -hmm. hat. Because that's exactly. what I did. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I hate attention. So, <laughs> so this was your favorite day. Oh, it was. Yeah, it was <laughs> the best day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, mean I, I I felt the love, but uh, but yeah, I did not like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, had, I had the photo, the group photo on my desktop for so, so long. I'm like, this is my little family. <laughs> These are my photo. parents. Oh. These are my parents. Yeah, yeah. basically, you and Riley. <laughs> you and Riley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, remember when I like first showed up and it was like, how are we going to call this? What are we going to call you now? And everyone yeah. was like, new Lucas. And then people just call me Lucas. And then I would just call I this Lucas, old Lucas. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I, old Lucas stuck, Lucas. but we didn't. <laughs> I tried so hard to make it OG Lucas, but that didn't stick. Because yeah. old Lucas is funny. I had a half yeah. brother named Josh and a real brother named Josh. They called him Big Josh and Little Josh. <laughs> Fantastic. We could do that. Be big, Luke. I petitioned for We'd so be long. We'd same size, Luke. Same size. <laughs> same size. Two hundred thirty pounds. Same thing. Um, <laughs> Pretty heavy. I petitioned for so long when Becca was like, "Yeah, I think I've got someone who uh, I'm going to interview." Um, it's Kelsey's sister's friend, Lucas. And I was like, "Nope, no." No, absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> you cannot have another Lucas in customer service. I'm telling you, that's going to mix things up way too much. Yeah. I will not have it. I will not stand for this. Yeah, but and honestly, here we are. You know when I got my boots originally? I'm so happy we hired you. About yeah. a year before I even started, like, before I started working at this place, right? Mm -hmm. This was the guy that was helping me. And I remember doing a pun about us having the same name, too, and be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you could, that's a good name that you got there. And he, I just, <laughs> I think I remember him just going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it didn't. Sounds uh, like him. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's so funny. That's, I think that's one thing that's pretty interesting about all three of us. The three Lucases are, I think, three in the office who applied for the job after they were fans of the brand. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, I bought Beats, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine months before I worked here. So. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, well, it's been a good time. I barely knew what a boot was when I started. There's a couple people. Yeah. There's a couple yeah. people that are in that realm where they're not like boot nerds. You want me to but also boots? They, they learn. To do exactly. Yeah. How much content can there be? But now I do see a pair of boots and I'm like, oh. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know we were I just, pick up oh. on things now. <laughs> I know we were just talking about how my boots are starting to patina pretty nicely. They and, are starting to patina and you pretty nicely. I definitely hated that you, uh, you recognize that. I can recognize that. it. Yeah. 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 So it comes for us all. Yeah. But eventually. These, ones you wearing? these are some vintage. My pirate boots. I'm wearing my pirate outfit. <laughs> these today. are some, ah. some old oh Western God. boots. 2006. <laughs> Yeah. Vintage. Might, Pretty might, good. Might see something similar going back. 22 vintage. 22? <laughs> yeah, I would say. Gray running sock. Oh, that's a trip to Tokyo right there. Tokyo. Yeah, I'm not getting my hopes up for that. I have hopes for you. Yeah. Stitch down, please give me a trip to Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> you can edit that out right now. Three musketeers. Three musketeers. I'm wearing my musketeer boots now. They're musketeer oh. boots, not pirate boots. Oh, not pirate boots. The, Scratch it off the three, record. Okay. The three lucateers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> It's wow, official. I love the energy. It's like the Spider Man. Thing. It's official. Yeah. It's a Spider Man. It yeah. is yeah. like the Spider Man thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. This has been, this has been great. I just drink a cup of coffee in this. I really so. do enjoy Thanks, all of you. I would say 
But you like Luke the best. You already said it. I like Tribe the just, best. Just oh. say it. Oh. Uh, I like Nick the best. He made me this. A bullet. I don't have favorites. Well, as long as so we're like saying our favorites. Yeah. We're saying our favorites. Kelsey, you're pretty awesome. Thank you. I did. I mean, honestly, all of you guys, I, everyone I work with, it's fantastic. He hasn't. He hasn't picked me out specifically. No, he did not. I'm the only one in the room. No, dude, you're hasn't. you're the one. You're the the most listening. memorable. Yeah, I do you're love the, working. I'm here. the most so memorable. I, I <laughs> love working. No, it's it's literally this job is awesome. No, honestly, it is. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> everyone. Yeah. No, Thank you. Halloween is great. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Um, we'll see what happens next Halloween. I might just wear my Boy Scout outfit. No. <laughs> we scarred <Stay> Luke. <laughs>